Hi everyone, Cole Berkley here at BHA, the intern with Matt Wilson, Pioneer Territory Manager. We're here to talk about white mold today in soybeans. When you're out scouting for white mold, be looking for the apothegia, which is a ground spore with a mushroom-like appearance that infects the soybean plant. Once the soybean plant becomes infected, you'll begin seeing sclerotia on the inside, which is a very small brown to black-like appearance on the inner part of the stem. On the outside of the stem, you'll be seeing a white spider-like webbing, which is also an indication of white mold infection. Now Matt's going to be giving you three helpful tips on controlling white mold. Hey, thanks Cole. Yeah, so tip number one is, uh, if you're set up for a variable rate population, drop that down in your low lying areas or areas where you know you're prone to white mold. Uh, the second thing is we have approach fungicide by DuPont. Uh, that's shown some good results for us. We spray nine ounces at R1 and nine ounces at R3. Also for the guys or for the same people that don't have white mold in some areas, and you're better looking soybean fields, a six ounce rate of approach at R3 over 100 locations has given us 3.7 yield advantage over the untreated check. Uh, lastly, uh, we have a nice product that fits our area very well here in Millbank 18A98X. It's a little taller slender plant, so it's set up very well for narrow rows and gives us some of that airflow that we need to help control white mold in the area. Thanks for watching and contact your local Pioneer Sales representatives for more information. Thanks. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.